Hey, what's up? How's everybody doing today? Um, it's very rare for me to do a webinar during the trading day because um, I'll be trading during this time. I mean, it doesn't mean necessarily I'm going to make a trade, but I will be trading during this time. So usually I give webinars after the market's closed. Um, but thanks for having me on. A lot of really good presenters today. Let me record this just in case you need a back end of this. And uh, right before this, a uh, great presentation by my good friend Mark Sebastian. And uh, I definitely think you guys should take up on that course if you guys are interested in learning how to trade gamma better. Um, I was looking at that Google call butterfly for earnings when he was talking about it. And um, that's like one of my favorite strategies is uh, trading call butterflies using measure move targets. So he kind of talked to you about the straddle price and where their buying can go and how you can take advantage of inflated uh, overpriced options that you know he calls junk. So if you guys haven't taken advantage of Mark's offer yet, I think it's a great offer. And what I'm going to here to teach you guys today is how to trade small account using unusual option activity. Uh, I'll be presenter today, Andrew Keene. I usually do this presentation about an hour, and I only have about 45 minutes today, so I might go a little bit fast. Uh, feel free to ask any questions uh, throughout the presentation. Past performance not indicative of future results. No standard risk disclaimer, we have to put this on every single webinar. Day trading, short-term trading, option trading, and futures trading are extremely risky undertakings that are generally not appropriate for someone with little capital, little to no trading experience, and a low tolerance of risk. Never execute a trade unless you're willing and prepared to lose your entire investment. All trading operations <laughs> involve serious risk. No trades or recommendations or advice. I am not a registered investment advisor. I do not have any licenses, so I cannot give you guys any recommendations or advice. You've got to decide what to do with your own capital. Um, all I'm telling you is what I'm doing with my capital. Um, so contact your registered investment advisor uh, for terms of margin, execution, and other capital requirements. Everybody watching today's presentation adheres to all risk disclaimers on www.alphashark.com and www.optionhacker.com. So a little glimpse of my P&L. So I trade on one trading account, um, and this is how I've done so far this year. I am down today. This is actually my third straight day. I'm down. But I have swing trade positions, and all these trades here are based on unusual option activity, which I'm going to teach you guys today. And so I'm up to $684.50, and this is a real account. Uh, it's not a simulated account. And then I have longer-term swing trades, and on those I'm down $1,550 for a net of down $890.50. And you can see my year to date, and this is before commissions, I'm up over $9,000 in 12, 13 trading days now, uh, Thursday. Uh, 13 trading days. So 13 trading days, up over $9,000. Um, I have lost money in the last couple of days, um, but I've been trading very, very well. Using what I'm going to teach you guys today, it has been doing very well for me, very profitable over the last 10 months. Um, when I teach presentations and I teach webinars, um, I'm only going to teach you what I'm taking my own capital and trading on. Um, so that's what I'm going to teach you today, uh, how to trade in usual option activity here in the option market. Let's go back to the presentation here. So this is me as a college student. Uh, you know, Mark called me a smart guy, but we all know he's smarter than me. I think he went to Van Vanderbilt? Villanova. Villanova. So I graduated college in 2001. In 2001, I was 22 years old. I graduated from the University of Illinois Champaign-Urbana, which is a Big Ten school, you know, top 50 school. Um, good school, nothing to brag about. Um, I didn't go to uh, Villanova. I didn't go to Princeton and Harvard. You know, if I can make money trading, then everybody here can make money trading. It's not like I went to this, you know, I have this brain for trading that no one else has. That's not me, and this is actually Humpty here. I started trading in uh, March 2000, and so I graduated in 01, so in 2003. So in 2003, I started trading, and I've been trading for a full-time trader till 2007. So I've been trading as a full-time trader for 14 years. Um, there's been some ups, there's been some downs. Um, adversity has got me, kept me in the game, and uh, you know I've come up with this trading plan. I think it's great for everybody here. We're going to talk about how you can scale a big account higher. So I studied finance at the University of Illinois before becoming uh, one of the biggest uh, Apple traders in the world. Compliance isn't like saying the biggest because I can't prove it. Here's just a picture of me from CNBC. This was CNBC Asia. I was on with the president, or the president will be tomorrow, I guess. So he's not the president. He's the president-elect. And then uh, they actually screwed up my bio. So I, we were at keenonthemarket.com, and now we're at alphashark.com. So just kind of a cool picture of me from CNBC. I wasn't talking to him. I wasn't debating him. 
I was just talking about one of his policies. Um, so that was pretty cool to be on CNBC and while we're having the president. So now I trade from Dallas, Texas. Got to just move this because I just moved here. So I moved, I uh, lived in Chicago my whole life, go back there a lot. Um, then I moved to San Diego where I'm not a professional surfer. I'm actually really good at surfing. Uh, then I moved to Austin and now I am in, uh, in uh, Dallas, Texas. So I'm trading here in Texas. Um, this is my car I bought. Uh, so now I moderate and trade our trading room from Dallas, Texas. Uh, regular contributor, more now CNBC than anything. Um, I'm not really on that many outlets besides CNBC, um, but CNBC, Bloomberg, Fox Business, Sky Australia, you know, I've been on all those outlets, but mostly um, CNBC likes me the best today. <laughs> so we have a problem, and the problem is 90% of all traders lose money. Okay? So if we had a room, let's say, and let's say there's 100 people in this room, for argument's sake, we have two groups. We have group one, and then we have group number two. Group number one, out of 100, 90 of you will lose money. Those are the statistics. There's no way you're getting around it. I apologize. 10 of you will make money. Okay, So that's not very good, right? Me, Mark, and all the edu other educators that are on today take time out of our day to educate you. Okay? I could be doing a lot of other things right now than doing a webinar, but you guys are taking an hour an hour to listen to me speak, but multiple hours to listen to multiple speakers um, talk about their trading strategy, their trading philosophy, and I can't sit here and say one person's better than the, than the next. What I can tell you is how I am consistently making money. If you like what I have to say, if you're interested, you know, we have a course at the end with, where you can also watch me trade live for free for two weeks. If you don't like my trading philosophy and strategy, then find somebody else's. But you guys got to find a coach or a mentor. In anything you want to sell in life, you need to find someone you can look up to. You can ask questions. I mean, my email, I'll put my email address in here. It's 24-7 to all my subscribers. Um, I will email you back within 24 hours, unless I'm out of the country, um, with a response um, once you become, you know, Hey, once you buy a course, basically. So there's reasons why retail traders struggle so much. A lot of reasons, okay? These are the three main reasons why retail traders struggle so much. Number one, they do not understand uh, proper reward to risk setups. Okay? March has showed you a strategy where you can get 9 to 1 on a call flop. How does that sound? And it didn't even say another part of the strategy was that trade is going to make money anywhere in a uh, $36 range from 252 to uh, two, uh, sorry, 752 to 788. So, you know, not only do butterflies work well because, um, you know, the stock, um, you can make so much money very quickly, um, you can also have a range where you make money. So setting up proper rewards for setups. When I was on the trading floor, I used to stand some guy next to some guy named Paul. And Paul, whenever we came in and they sold us Apple options, let's say this, they sold us an, an Apple option for $6. Okay? As a market maker, we sell stock immediately to hedge our position properly. Well, Paul would try to sell them for six ten, And I used to yell at him. I'd be like, what are you doing, dude? I'm like, you're risking, 10, you're risking $6 to make $0.10. Cents. Well, a month later, more like six months later, he wasn't in the pit anymore. Because that's not proper reward or risk setups. Okay? If you came to me and said, hey, 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 AK, I want to give you a million dollars. Okay? I want 95% of my trades to be winners. You know what I'd say? That's easy. I could have 95% of your winners. doesn't mean you're going to be a profitable trader. So too many traders look at what percentage of their trades that are profitable. To be honest, it doesn't matter. All that matters is if you make money at the end of the day. Okay? If I sell a dollar call spread for one penny, Right? I sell a dollar call spread for one penny. I'm going to make money 99 times. The one time, I'm going to lose all my money that I make. Okay? Number two, poor technical analysis. Um, I'm a big fan of the Ichimoku Cloud. You can use anything you want in your trading. Um, I use Ichimoku Kink and Hoi, otherwise known as the Ichimoku Cloud. Um, but feel free to use anything you want for technical analysis. Number three, they do not follow unusual option activity. I compare trading stock 
I compare trading stock, futures, and Forex to playing the computer in chess. If you guys play the computer in chess on expert level, you will never, ever win. Because there's always a right move. And you don't have the moves. The big firms have the moves. Okay? But if you're playing unusual option activity, there's a bluffing mechanism involved. So that's like playing poker. So we have a little favorite joke around the office. We're like, hey, you want to learn how to trade? Light $100,000 on fire. And it's not really funny, but like it kind of is. Because too many people um, try to basically you know, make money trading. You know, they get a bonus for $20,000, $50,000 and say, hey, I'm a smart guy. I can make money. I'm going to put that 100000 in there, and maybe you start making money in the beginning. Okay? I'm not here to teach and educate people that want to gamble. If you want to gamble, go to Vegas. If you want to gamble, bet on the Super Bowl. Okay? I'm here to teach and educate people that want to devote their life or maybe a part of their life, a couple hours a day, to become a better trader. Trader is about probability and math. It's all game theory. Okay? It has nothing to do with anything else. You guys could ask me the most random thing in the world, and I could come up with a probability in math. Okay, my place is on the 24th floor. I see into the highway. You know, what's the odds the next car I see is red? I would say 12 to 1. I'd say about 8% of all the cars on the road are red. I don't know. And I just randomly, literally made it up. So that's all game theory. So you guys got to understand there's trading and there's gambling. I want to teach traders. I want to teach people that want to gamble. If you want to gamble, go to Vegas. So most people fail at first. I don't want this to happen to you. I am going to teach you a simple and easy process for trading that will help you become more successful in the long run, even if you have a small account. So is this geared specifically 100% for someone who only has a small account? The answer is no. It's geared to anybody, anybody that wants to build their account higher. Okay. And this is where I actually like to put this slide. So what we call this, guys, and this is really important, I would write it down. I take a picture of it. I call this the three by two, two by one. <laughs> three by two, two by one. When I'm trading, there are generally five trading days in a week. Okay? I try to make money three of the days. I know I'm not going to make money every day. Okay? If I make money three and I lose money two. Okay? So I make money. As you can see, my P&L here has now percolated a little bit. And uh, let's see here. I'm now down $215. So this is a bad losing day to, for me today. I'm down $200. Okay. So let's just go back here. So let's say uh, you have a small account and you have a, you play the three by two, two by one game. Okay. So you want to make money three days a week. You want to lose two days a week. And then when you make money, you want to make twice as much as you lose. So you want to make money, you want to make twice as much as lose. So let's say on the days that I'm profitable, I make $1,500. Okay? So if I make $1,500 three days and I lose $750, right, because that's a two-by-one rule. I'm trying to make twice what I lose. I do the exact same thing because I play a lot of poker. Okay? When I make, I buy for $500. If I win, okay, I want to uh, you know, win big. When I lose, I want to lose my $500. Like when I win, when I play poker, I want to make 2000 When I lose, I want to lose 500 So if I make money three days a week and I make 1500 every time, I'll be up to $4,500. Okay? We subtract that 1500 that I'm going to lose because I'm going to lose two days a week and we'll have a net of $3,000. Okay? So that's a three-by-two, two-by-one rule. It's very important. Okay? So step number one, if you guys have never traded options before, have never traded unusual option activity before, Open a simulated account. Okay? I know it's not fun. I know it's not sexy. You don't want to go out with your boys to the bar. You're like, hey, Johnny, how much money did you make in your sim account today? Ha, 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 ha. When they're not even actually trading themselves. So it's not fun. It's not sexy. But you guys got to start somewhere. I was thinking about trading the five-minute bar uh, as a day trade in for trading soybeans and uh, corn. And uh, basically, I didn't because it was losing money. Okay, So I try to stick with things that make money um, and I try to get rid of things that don't make money. So that's pretty simple. It's pretty straightforward. Um, you know, Start on a simulated account. If you've never traded a, one option before or you've never traded an usual option activity, there is a learning curve, guys. There's going to be a learning curve in anything. right? So there's going to be a learning curve in that. So this is uh, Tony Gwynn. Lived in San Diego for um, a while. 
So uh, Tony Gwynn was obviously one of my favorites, and uh, call him Mr. Padre. Okay? But what you notice here about Tony Gwynn, which is really, really interesting, is he's not wearing a Padre's jersey. And you say to yourself, hey, Kay, why is Tony Gwynn not wearing a Padre's jersey? Okay? Well, Tony Gwynn himself you know, was in the minors. And he was in the minors for a year before he came into the majors. Right? So even the best, one of the best hitters in baseball was in the minors. Okay. Sometimes I do webinars and I give it, I give a little lie. You know, I say, hey, what does uh, Brett Favre, Aaron Rodgers, and Tom Brady have in common? Brett Favre, Aaron Rodgers, and Tom Brady. You might say, oh, they're white, they're a quarterback. But the thing that's most important is they came into the NFL and they didn't start. Aaron Rodgers backed up Brett Favre. Brett Favre was not a starter. Tom Brady backed up Drew Bloodsell. So you have to sit there and study the playbook for a while. Okay? There's a very little chance that anybody here today starts trading a neutral option activity, makes money this week, this month, and then year and year over and over. Okay? Time in a seat. There's a really good book called Outliers by Malcolm Gladwell. It talks about 10,000 hours to be an expert. Okay? It takes time. It has a learning curve. So don't get frustrated. Okay? Educators like myself are here to teach you guys, to coach you guys, to take you guys to the next level of whatever you're trading currently. So here's Tony Gwynn, has the 18th highest career average in baseball history, hit over 300 for 19 straight seasons, won eight National League batting titles, was named to 15 All-Star games in a 16-year span, seven gold gloves, uh, seven silver sluggers, and it was a first-time Hall, uh, Hall of Fame bell. What do we notice here, guys? Once again, he started in the minors. So even Tony Gwynn needed a simulated account in baseball. And it's really fun and interesting. You know, like there's so many businesses in the world, right? And in a business, and he chewed a lot of tobacco, he did. Um, I met his son, actually. Tony Gwynn Jr. used to play for the Brewers. I met him in Milwaukee. Uh, nice guy. Um, but anyways, uh, you know, in a, if you run a business, okay, a lot of business owners out there like to trade, they don't let you run simulated projections um, and not actually have to pay for it, right? Like, I wish I could run a simulated Facebook ad campaign where basically um, I could, um, just kind of looking at some trade here, sorry, um, where I could run a simulated Facebook ad campaign and if it makes money, then I would do it. If it doesn't make money, then I wouldn't do it, right? Trading is one of the few places as a business where you basically can't, okay, where you basically can't. Go to the next slide. Uh, there's nothing wrong with starting small. Most traders want to swing for the fences right off the bat, but most traders blow out their account. Do you want to start small and learn, or do you want to stay in the game and be in it for a very, very long time? Like I said, guys, you know, are you in here to gamble, or are you in here to actually trade? We want traders, we want people that want game theory, we want people that want to put on reward risk setups, uh, probability and math, not looking for to teach people that want to gamble. So you've got to prove yourself first. Um, if you can make money consistently, so a lot of times people always say, hey, AK, you know, how long do I want to um, you know, trade in a simulated account? And everybody's different. Um, I would say if you have never traded in a simulated account before, I would say uh, four to six weeks is good. You know, if you can consistently make money, you know, I used to have a really good friend that used to trade, and he'd come over. He's like, Andrew, I don't know what's going on. I'm like, well, let's talk about it. He goes, I make money all the time in the simulated account, and then when I go live, I can't make money. Okay, there's sweat, there's blood, there's tears, there's psychology. There's a lot. It's a lot harder to make money in a real dollar account because your money's on the line. Like, no one wants to come in and look at the trading account and say, Wow, I'm down a thousand dollars today. A thousand dollars? Do you know how much money that is? Guys, for some people that's their mortgage, right? But that's gonna happen. So you gotta learn how to get this implemented in your head that hey, you're not gonna make money every day. Hey, you're not gonna make money every week, right? So that's a four to six week in a simulated account. So here's another thing that we kind of wrote for you guys. I would take a picture of this, um, or once again, write it down. Number one, 
how many trading days did I make money? So, you know, you can do it by week or then by month. You know, the, the traders on the trading floor that um, basically, uh, the traders on the trading floor that um, wrote journals became the better traders. And it sucks and it's boring, you know, but it, it's good for you. Accountability is better when you write stuff down. So number one, how much money did, did I make on the days that I made money? Number two, what was the average dollar amount for winning days or winning trades? What was my average amount for losing trades? And what was my biggest winning and losing day? I used to work with a guy in the office. He'd always he'd hit and yell and hit the computer. And I was like, what's wrong? I said, oh, I lost 25 grand a day. I'm like, well, how's the week? He goes, I make five grand for four straight days, and then I lose it all one day. Like, that's not really good, right? What about if you can only lose 5,000 on the day you lost money, right? So, um, you know, it's crazy to think, but let's go to the next slide. Trading real money, okay? Uh, trading real money will be more difficult, but it's a practice. Um, it's a lot more stressful and challenging than trading a uh, simulated account, but keep your mental state okay. And you'll be in the game for a long time. So uh, three things here, uh, trading journal, uh, workshop, we will give you a cheat sheet. So I keep a personal cheat sheet of every trade I've taken this year that I make money and every single trade that I've taken that loses money. I can actually show you my cheat sheet really quickly. But I want to get into unusual option activity and how I trade um, because I think that's going to be a little bit more important for you guys. So let me just show you my cheat sheet. And I update this every single day. So I see here there's a proven cheat sheet of every stock that I've taken that I've made money on. So day trading options winners, losers, swing trading winners and losers, and then longer term swing trades winners and losers. So I keep a track on this every single day of what trades are making me money and what's not. So I know, and, and the signal hits the tape, and I just saw one of the biggest orders I've ever seen, um, really like to be completely honest, is one of the biggest orders I've ever seen. You see 44,000 NRG, 2018, 120s uh, trading here at $1.25. Like, that is insane. I have to run the math on this real quick. So this is what I'm watching for throughout the course of the day. Institutional order flow in the option market. Um, so 44,277 times 125 times 100. That's a $5.5 million bet. Is that right? It seems like it should be more. 44,277 times 1.25 times 100. $5.5 million bet there. $5 million bet today in NRG in 2018. Okay. And never have more than 50% of your account um, allocated at one time. Okay. So always have cash on the sidelines. Um, just in case, you know, the market rolls over or something like this. Okay. Sorry. Um, so small cakes make small profits. You know, scaling your account up. So when you guys are trading, you know, like I said, you're gonna have days that lose money. But you know, we all know what a good chart looks like, right? But in a good PL, it should look the same. So if we're like this, and then we're like this, you know, your PL should be like this. It should be like flat, and then you go up, and then you go flat, and then you go up. Maybe you go down a little bit, then you go flat, and then you go up. You go down a little bit go flat and you go up. But you're always getting a little bit higher. Your losses are smaller than your gains, right? So this is how trading is going to be, okay? You're going to always be in periods where you're flat, okay? It's not a bad thing. You're going to always going to have periods where you lose money. But one thing important that I drew here is that the days that you win, you want to win a lot more than you lose, right? 
Um, you know, if you put all your money buying Netflix puts in front of earnings, probably didn't work out very well, right? Um, so just kind of keep that in mind when you guys are trading your accounts. So uh, you might not get excited at first. You know, you'll hear traders on TV that are long a lot more and have bigger positions. You know, if you guys are frustrated, um, I would say turn off the TV. Um, you know, one of the best things you can do is take off time and just turn off the TV. Um, Rome wasn't built in a day. There's nothing scuff, nothing to scuff about if, if you make $200 a day. If you can make $200 a day, guys, $200 a day, you know what that equivalates to? Well, let's do the math. $200 a day, five days a week is $1,000. Okay. That's $52,000 in a year. Okay, So that's $52,000 in a year if you can make $200 a day. It's pretty good. If you make $500, you're looking at $125,000. Okay, so say to yourself, hey, what do I want out of this? Are you in it for the long haul or are you a gambler? Okay. You guys can kind of think about this for yourself. Okay. There's two types of things. Okay. There's traders and there's gamblers. This is funny, like I'll go out to the bars and I'm people are like, what do you do for a living? I go, I trade. They go, oh, you gamble. I go, no, I don't gamble at all. It's probability, it's math, it's reward or risk setups. Okay. I'm doing game theory on a daily basis. Gambling is exactly what gambling means, right? It's you're risking money where you're probably going to lose in the long run, right? So just kind of keep that in mind. This guy is pretty, this is a pretty funny picture here. This guy is drinking a little too much. He cannot believe his four of a kind lost to a royal flush, right? Just cannot believe it. You know, you guys are going to put on trades and setups that look really good, and you probably would have done them again, but lost money. It's just part of the game, okay? Not every trade is going to make money. You're going to have setups that actually lose money. And it's frustrating, you know, how you deal with those losings is much more important. So putting it all together, you say to yourself, AK, this is great. I understand the psychology. I understand how to scale my account up. But what I need to know is what am I going to use for signals? Okay. Okay. What am I going to use for signals? We're going to tell you what you're going to use for signals. Okay. I watch a proprietary-based scanner that spits out trades throughout the course of the day. So this literally just spits out trades. It goes like this. <laughs> and just spits out trades throughout the course of the day. Right? So it will just spit up ideas. I take these, all these ideas, I analyze and dissect them to figure out what I want to do with my capital. Okay? So I do this live in front of you, and we're going to give everybody the opportunity to get in for 20 hours of coaching slash trading for free Okay, at the end of this. Watch the scanner in real time. We do not own this technology. Um, this is Trade Alert, very similar to a Live Vault. I like this better. Some people like Live Vault better. I'm not a big volatility trader. Um, I'm more of what's institutional or the flow doing. So institutional order flow. So what is unusual option activity? Unusual option activity is institutional order flow in the option market. There are 8,700 publicly traded companies, 4,199 with options in those companies. And I realize I have to go speed it up a little bit because I have to get through all these slides. So every trade is a signal. There's bullish signals and there's bearish signals. Okay? So every day I watch bullish and bearish signals throughout the course of the day in the option market. So bullish signals, I can buy calls, I can sell put spreads, um, I can buy sell pair, uh, buy put spreads. I can you know bearish signals. I can buy put spreads. I can sell call spreads. I can buy puts. You guys are on the discretion what you want to do with these own individual signals. All I'm telling you what I think the signals mean and what I do with them with my own capital. Remember, I'm not a registered investment advisor. I cannot give recommendations or advice. So we have three different kinds of trades. We have a day trade and then we have a swing trade. And then we have a longer term. Ooh. 
So swing trade, day trade is less than four weeks to go to expiration. Longer term swing trade is four to eight weeks. And then, a, sorry, a swing trade is four to eight weeks. And then this is eight weeks. So you look at it in options slide and you say, what does that mean? Let's look at Gilia. I look, it's like a triple D. So if I saw a signal here in um, anything up until February 10th, these are day trades. February to March is a swing trade. And this is a longer term swing trade. So you got to kind of figure out what kind of trader you are. Do you want a day trade? Do you want a swing trade? Or do you want a longer term swing trade? These are setups for everybody. Okay, I do all of them. Okay, I haven't taken a day trade in a while. Okay. Um, I haven't taken trades a uh, day trade in a while just because I don't think there's been any good setups. So this is an example of something that hit a first solar. So this is exactly what an institutional order flow looks like. Trader bought 2,377 FSLR, March 37 and a half calls for $1.88, okay? We're going to teach you guys a proprietary based trading plan. It's called the Oak River Trading Plan. The first thing I look at is the volume versus open interest. Volume versus open interest. Then we look at the chart, okay? So this had on 10-11, 10, 10, 2017. About a week ago, this is my best trade of the year, my best stock of the year. So a breakdown of this trade, trader bought 2,377 FSLR for solar, March 37 and a half calls for $1.88. Opening position, um, and the open interest is 603. So then we go to the chart, calls were bought right here on the breakout to the upside. I bought those calls, I bought 100 of them. I've sold 80% of my position, and like I said, this is my best trade this year. I'm up about close to $3,000. If you did that as a percentage return, it's about 20% return on this trade. So here's a, my P&L here in First Solar. This was just one day. So the one day it popped a lot. Um, I sold 80 of them out that one day, and uh, we can see here P&L or profit and loss. This is real money. This is my money, 100% my money. Uh, like I said, I don't take, uh, I don't take client money. This is my account. I made $3,110 on this trade that one day. $3,110 on that one day. So what do you like to make that kind of money on one signal? Simple and easy. I think the answer is yes. Okay. So here is the trading plan, guys. I would write it down and take a picture. This is very, very important. If you want to trade in usual option activity, you want to trade it more productively, it is called the Oak Ribbit Trading Plan, O-C-R-R-B-T-T. -T. First thing I always look at is the volume versus open interest. I always want volume to be greater than open interest. If volume is less than open interest, I will not take a trade. So volume, I want to be greater than open interest. Then we look at the chart. Okay? I use each of them kink and hoy. You can use whatever you want on the chart. Then... We look at risk versus reward. Some people like rest and relaxation, not really my thing. Do you look at unusual option activity during earnings seasons connected to earnings? I don't think unusual option activity works well with earnings. So that would be my answer. I do not think unusual option activity works well with earnings. Break even, and then we have TNT. I love tacos and tequila, but time and target. What is my time in the trade, and what is my potential target of the trade? Okay, it's very, very important. First solar, let's look at this example. Trader bought 2,377 for solar, March 37 and a half calls for $1.88. Volume through 2,377, open interest 603. So has criteria one been met? Is volume greater than open interest? And the answer is yes, it has been met. Number two, how does the chart look? Okay, and we looked at the chart a couple slides ago. Okay. Break in the cloud, big breakout candle here, but in the cloud. So it's neutral, but has a strong breakout candle, which means most likely it's going to head higher. That's what I, exactly I think today happened in Triple D. So that would be yes. Then you have R&R. &R. You know, how much you want to risk on a trade and how much you can potentially make. We talk about stop losses. We say that beginners can use a 30% stop loss on a swing trade. An intermediate trader can use a 50% stop loss on a trade. Okay. So you can use stop losses. I personally don't use stop losses. I don't know how to set up stop losses in Thinkorswim. Someone got mad at me once. They're like, you taught stop losses, and you're not emailing me and telling me how to set it up. I, I don't honestly know how to set up a stop loss. I wish I did, but I don't. Okay. 
So how much you're willing to risk on this trade? Every single trade you guys should figure out how much you're willing to risk on a trade. Time and target, um, you know, that is in our trading plan. That's something we're going to teach you in the workshop. Um, I can't really like go over it in depth. That will take like an hour to go over it. But we have, you know, tell you exactly when to get into trades and to get out of trades in our workshop. So the workshop is really, really great for anybody that if you have a small account, you have a medium account, um, and hopefully we'll have a couple minutes here to look at a couple of charts. I know you guys always look, to look at look at charts. So TNT, time and target. So this scanner, guys, you'll have two weeks to watch me trade on this scanner in real time, coach you guys on the scanner, and watch me trade live. Okay. Okay. So there's some ash traded there. I don't think it's an action by this, so I didn't take it. Mm -mm. So, who is this course good for? This is good for any beginner, intermediate, or expert. A trader who wants to learn how to build their account up. A trader who actually wants to learn and stop guessing for trades. Anyone who wants to master good habits and trade unusual option activity to learn from a full-time trader. Things I can guarantee about this course, we have 25 spots available. Once that, we sell those, we will be gone. That's it, guys. This is a brand new course. Uh, we've been doing it for a couple weeks now, but we haven't done it in years in the past. And most important, guys, if you do not learn, I do not want your money. So you can sign up for this course, and if you don't like it, just email me personally at andrew at alphashark.com, and we'll give you your money back. So here is the course. We'll talk about everything you get. This is a very, very ineffective, a very cheap price. Options on the floor dot com forward slash now. Okay, it's ninety-seven dollars. Let's talk about all the value you get here. This is trading a small account two-day boot camp. Okay, we've already recorded it, so you get it on demand. Okay, so you'll get the two-day boot camp that we did. You'll get it on demand, so you can start learning immediately. Okay, so this is a four hundred ninety-nine dollar value. You'll get rules for risk management in position template. That's a $99 value. You'll get my template for my trading journal that we talked about earlier. That's again, it's a $99 value. You'll get my proprietary based cheat sheet of the best and worst stocks to trade based on 2017 results. That's a $99 value. You'll get watch me trade for 10 days, 10 trading days for two hours a day. Okay. This is coaching and trading. You get 20 hours of coaching and trading live, guys, where you can come in and you can ask anything about the scanner, anything about my trading style, what I'm watching, what I'm learning. This is the best way to learn how to trade. You get 20 hours of that live. Okay? You get lifetime access to the recording, another $99 value. And this is another $199. So it's actually a $1,099 value. And we're offering it to you guys for 97 bucks. Okay, so I'll say four things about this, and we can maybe look at a couple charts right now. Number one, 100% money back guarantee. If you guys purchase this course right now, and I see my inbox blowing up, Chris is in, Lauren is in, Craig is in, uh, Allison is in, Tracy is in, Bob is in, Jerry is in. Make sure you guys sign up. We have 25 spots. So number one, money back guarantee. If you buy the course today and you do not learn off the course, I will personally give you your money back. I do not want your money if you're not learning. Number two, this is 90% off. Okay, if you go to my website and you try to buy all these individually, you're going to spend over $1,000. Since you guys are taking time out of your day okay, to listen to me speak, we're going to give you a huge massive discount, which is only $97. Number three, it is $97, and we will we have a 25 spots. When we hit 25 spots, we will be sold out. 
you will not be able to get in. You know, does it go today? Does it go by a couple more in, in the emails here? Sean is in. Um, Vlad is in. Okay. So does it go today or is it to go a couple more days? I don't know. Just like a trade, you don't know when you're going to get in. So I would personally, you know, take advantage of this promotion while you can. And number four is I forgot. Um, you got to invest in your education. You know, there's a lot of really good presenters today. Whatever you want to learn better, you should buy everything. Okay, education is actually a tax write-off, so you'd have to talk to your tax guy. But if you buy this today from me and you keep it, you get a tax write-off because it's education. So whatever you listen to today that you liked, if it's my presentation, great. Purchase it, study it, email me with any questions. If you have any questions at all, you can email me if you purchase a course. If you don't, then I'm not going to respond to you. Um, and a couple more coming in here. Make sure you guys sign up. This is unbelievable value. It's 90% off. We only have a couple of spots left. Um, options on the floor.com forward slash now. Um, the complete, so what you'll get is a complete boot camp, uh, the trading rules, the journal, the cheat sheet for best and more stocks, you get lifetime access, and then you'll get 10 trading days to watch me trade uh, live and coaching where you can ask any questions at all. Does anybody have a last minute questions? I have about two minutes here. Does anybody have any last minute questions, comments, concerns? Or forever hold your peace. Alright guys, so that will be it for me today. Uh, everybody have a great day trading. Actually, you can't really trade. You only have two minutes left. But have a great night, and I'll touch base with everybody tomorrow. Thanks, guys.